Waves Audio Track is a plugin that combines a four band EQ with a compressor and a gate. It is an extremely efficient and great sounding plugin that you can apply with multiple instances depending upon your system due to its lean DSP appetite. The basic signal flow for Audio Track is the input fader, followed by the four band paragraphic EQ, then the compressor expander gate section and then the output fader. Let's check out the controls. First is the input fader. This is useful in creating headroom for EQ filters, which can cause an already hot signal to digitally clip. Adjust it with the provided fader or value field above. Next is the EQ section. The four band pair graphic EQ has a handy graphic editing screen in addition to fields for changing the parameter values. First are the on-off buttons for each band filter. One is yellow, and notice that the graphic marker for the band in the graphic editing window highlights appropriately with your selection. Double-clicking the marker also toggles the filter on-off switch. Next is the filter type selection for each band. Band number one choices are Bell, Low Shelf, High Shelf, and High Pass filter selections. Bands 2 and 3 have only the bell, low shelf, and high shelf filter selections. Band number 4 has bell, low shelf, high shelf, and low pass. Click on the filter type button to change its value or use the pull down menu to switch filter selections. Used properly, the wide variety of EQ filter shapes can really add to the final clarity of a final master. Next is the gain control for each band. It ranges from plus or minus 18 dB. Drag the selected band marker up or down to adjust the gain. You can also click and drag in the value field or type values from the keyboard directly into this field. Next is the frequency control. Like the gain control, it can be controlled via the graphic marker in a left-right manner, dragging in the value field or entering values with the keyboard. The bandwidth or Q control is next. Drag in the value window or enter the numbers with the keyboard to adjust the Q. Note, when you're using the graphic markers, you can also adjust the Q by holding the Option or Alt key and dragging left or right. This is really handy since with this simple modifier, we can control gain, frequency, and Q with the graphic interface. This makes sweeping to find problematic audio an easier task you can hold shift to select multiple bands or parameters to adjust them at the same time. It's easier just to click and drag around the particular controls that you want to group. Then, when you adjust one of them, the others will be altered in the same aspect. Next is the compressor expander section. The threshold control can be controlled by the marker next to the threshold meter or by clicking and dragging in the value field. You can also enter the value in the field via the keyboard. It controls at which level the compression or expansion begins. The ratio control displays either compression ratios of 1 to 40 or expansion ratio of 0.5 to 1. Click and drag in the field to change the ratio. You can type values directly into it, but remember the colon sign in between your number selections. This adjusts the amount of gain, increase, or reduction. The attack control determines how long it takes for the compression or expansion to begin once the threshold has been crossed. Slower attacks preserve transients and faster attack times serve as better peak control. The release value adjusts the amount of time it takes for the signal to return to its original level previous to the compression or expansion effect. The gate section. The threshold sets the level that the gate engages upon the track to silence any signal below that level. You can adjust this with the blue triangle marker next to the threshold energy meter. You can also click and drag up or down in the value field to change the threshold for the gate. The floor sets the level of maximum attenuation of the gate. In other words, how far will the gate turn down the signal? This can be set to infinity, but sometimes this produces unnatural clicks and pop sounds while trying to eliminate background noise. 
Loosen up on the floor setting to retain some of the natural sound of the track if you are experiencing pops or other artifacts. The attack time sets the opening time for the gate after the signal passes the threshold. The release time sets the time it takes for the gate to fully engage. The output fader and meters are last. The output fader offers minus 24 dB in cut and 12 dB in boost with numeric field display above it. The output meters with clip indicators are reset simply by clicking anywhere on the meter display. Let's use audio track to become more familiar with the controls. I was so sure you were wrong, but I should have taken your advice. But you would say, and I should say, everywhere we find the fence, in a world that didn't make sense, made a habit of mine. So I'm here asking why, why, when you're right, you're right. I believe this time you're right, right, when you're right, you're right, I believe this time success will cause some stress, living life in the city of sex, a fine line between, you would say and I should say, everywhere I find the wild you won't, every what I wonder why you don't, made a habit of mine. So I'm here asking why, why, when you're right, right, I believe this time you're right. As per usual, option or alt clicking on any control returns it to its default setting. I use this shortcut frequently. AudioTrack is a DSP saving way to have high quality filter and dynamics processing on each channel of your large multi-track session. The simple yet powerful Waves interface keeps this plug-in in the easy to make your track sound good zone. Make sure to experiment with the included factory presets to give you an idea of what setting combinations that you like. And then make sure to save your presets for later use. For other related information on dynamics processing, make sure to check out the C1 and C4 movie tutorials in this CSI environment.